Hi, Dancing Rabbit here. Welcome to another weekend edition of the Pagan Perspective. This is sub week, but since we have only one lonely sub at this point, all of us regulars are chiming in so you'll get a full week of Pagan Perspective. I want to apologize for not doing a video last week, and I'd kind of like to explain what's going on. My job has gotten extremely busy. Those of you who are students, only imagine that the time coming up to finals and graduation is busy. It's even busier on the other side of the desk. So I'm up at about 5 to get ready to go to work. Typically I get home about 5.30 or 6 in the evening and after we eat and watch a little TV, surf the internet a little bit, I'm ready for bed. I am not ready to do a video. This weekend, Feather and I are both part of, are both BRAT volunteers. That's the Basenji Rescue and Transportation Organization. And we had a Basenji to transport. The Basenji's dad was a U.S. serviceman and he was deployed to Afghanistan. Couldn't take his dog with him didn't have any family that he could leave his dog with, so Brad fostered the dog for about a week, and then the foster parents brought the dog, Charlie Bravo, and met us outside of Houston, and we transported him over to Jennings, Louisiana, where he was picked up by another Brad volunteer and taken to New Orleans, where he met his forever family, to be transported to South Dakota. So we were part of the Basenji Underground Railroad. But that pretty much took Saturday, and then there's Sunday. So I guess what I'm saying, life has gotten way busy, way crazy. In about a month, I should be gainfully unemployed, and I'll have lots and lots of time. And while all this is going on, Feather, who is a postpartum doula, attended the birth of the first son of one of our coven mates and has been doing doula work which is about a six to eight hour job doing light, light housework and attending to the mother and the child so we've both been really busy and a lot of the stuff that each of us usually does has gone undone okay a very quick last week question have I ever had a premonition or been led by one of the deities to steer clear of something, to stay away from something? I thought about it. I'm sure that it's bound to have happened at some point, but I honestly can't remember that ever happening. When I'm faced with a decision, I usually approach it rather rationally with a list of pros and cons, and I think about it talk to Feather about it, kick it around with some trusted friends, get their advice, maybe do some divination, tarot, or pendulum work, and then make the decision. I guess maybe either I'm just not sensitive to that sort of thing, or maybe I've never been in the dangerous sort of situations where I really need to stay away from something. So, negative on that, can't help you. But on the other hand, if there are some of you out there who have never had a premonition either, don't feel bad, because you're definitely not alone. This week's question was about spirit guides. Once you get a spirit guide, what do you do next? What do you do with your spirit guide? And once again, I really can't answer that question, because I don't have a spirit guide I've never worked with spirit guides. I've never particularly wanted to work with a spirit guide. I mean, it's not like I feel it's a bad thing, but it's just not something that I personally have ever been interested in. My understanding of what or who a spirit guide is, a spirit guide would be the spirit of a deceased person, probably not a relative or ancestor, but a person and you would be able to talk with this person maybe regularly or at least when there was
was a special need and ask advice, ask guidance. It's somewhat similar to a spirit uh, animal or power animal, except that this would be a human as opposed to an animal. I've never done that, really don't have any experience with it. I've been around a few people and I've watched a few people that I trust online who do work with spirit guides and so in my opinion uh, for whatever that's worth spirit guides is a valid thing it's a valid spiritual practice but it's not something that I've ever done or ever particularly wanted to do so if you work with spirit guides make a response video add some of your wisdom, some of your knowledge, some of your experience with this. If you don't work with spirit guides, really never have, then don't feel bad like you're not a real pagan because, you know, here I am, uh, internationally known in my own mind, pagan author, and I don't have a spirit guide. I do work fairly close with uh, the goddess Caridwen and the god Kernonus. I work pretty closely with what I take, what I call elementals. And uh, perhaps that's very close to working with the spirits of the land. But never done the spirit guide thing. Anyway, I'm starting to repeat, starting to ramble. So I'll say till next time, this is Dancing Rabbit. And you know the drill. Peace.